All my friends are skeletons. They beat the rhythm with their bones. That was some sad news to wake up to. You know, 90s grunge music, those were my, uh, my golden years. And while Soundgarden was probably the fourth out of the four big Seattle bands, by far and away, Alice in Chains and Nirvana were the two that I really dug. But I liked Pearl Jam, and I liked Soundgarden. It's just crazy that three of the four lead singers are dead and gone. But anyways, long day today. I did not go to work. I had some pressing family stuff that I had to take care of. Um, spent all day in a hospital. Everybody's good. Everybody's fine. Um, just a, uh, a family member of mine uh, had a rough early morning. So prognosis is good. So everything's good there. Um, but I was at the hospital all day. I did take a break around lunchtime. And I went to Target and I went to Hobby Lobby and I found a few goodies. Before I get into those, I just did a video and my iPad crashed. So if you've been watching my channel for any amount of time, you know, as I've said, every three months or so, I have to reset my iPad because it crashes. And then for whatever reason, it won't let me upload videos. It freaks out. The camera starts freaking out. So I don't know what's up with it, but when I reset it, it's perfectly fine for a couple months and then it starts to act up. So I just reset it, so I'm good to go. But uh, before I get like really started on the die cast, I got mail today. I got a lot of candy, lots of kajillions. So Bob Man, and it's Bob Man something. I totally forgot. Anyways, thank you, sir. I appreciate it. Anybody else that has kajillions and wants to send me some, I appreciate it. Um, I think I'm probably good on the trades. If, uh, you know, if you have some, hit me up or whatever. These will last me for a while, though. Um, so that's the candy. Uh, by the way, I got two cars with that box of candy. So, but before I show the two cars I got... I found this at Target. This is the 63 Chevy 2 from the new Hot Wheels Heritage series, which is a Target exclusive now. Not to be confused with the old Heritage, which was an alternating release of Real Riders and Redliners. This is the new Heritage. Car culture took over for the old Heritage, and then they moved the Hot Wheels Heritage line to the Target exclusive and their basic models. They don't have metal base or rubber tires although some of them actually there are a few that do have metal base but none of them have real riders this is just so cool though it's an awesome color it's an awesome paint job so i really dig this i don't buy a lot of mainline stuff but i do dig that chevy uh, i also grabbed this these were the only two they had all of them but these were the only two i wanted out of this release I really dig delivery on this. I think it's really cool. A little mobile tune-up. <coughs> so that is pretty rad there. And then uh, the two cars that showed up today with the candy, courtesy of Bob Man. Here's the first one. You know I love my Johnny Lightning 4x4s. Unfortunately, this does not have rubber tires, but... I'm not concerned about that at all. Now, he sold me these two cars with the candy, but he practically practically gave them to me. I mean, really, what I paid for these? Um, I mean, what I paid for them in comparison to what they're going for on eBay, I thought was a steal. So we do have pretty detailed engine it's just all black so that makes it kind of tough but that is a sick little casting so um, that is one of the two 
the other one of the two, oh shite, um, I like this one better. This, I love this casting, I love this tool from Greenlight, it is one of their best, I think, and uh, this one, this is an expensive one on eBay. Try finding one of these for under 20 bucks on eBay. And I paid way less than half of that for both of these combined. So this one has the uh, rubber tires with that aggressive off-road tread. This is just such a cool casting. <coughs> it's amazing how much better this Cherokee looks with rubber tires. You know, I've got one that has plastic tires, and the only reason it looks decent is because of the mud. Without that mud, that would be sad, a sad casting, I think. But this is just awesome. I, I just love these Cherokees. I'd love to make a run at all of them, but they're very hard to find, and they're very expensive when you find them. So I've got three of them. It's a good start. I'm not going to aggressively go after them. But if I can find them along the way and pick them up at decent prices, I will chip away at it. But this thing is just so cool, man. I love it. I like that it's a light color. It's the only one I have that's a light color that really shows you the lines of the, the Jeep. And I've owned two of these Jeeps in my life, so I do have a, a little fondness for them. You know that inline, that four liter inline six cylinder is one of the best motors ever built by anybody. It is bulletproof. They are just, they'll go 300,000 miles. The only problem is the transmission will only get you about 50,000 miles. So a little give and take there. But uh, all right, so on to the finds. I've already opened everything because I already did the video. So I guess maybe that'll speed this one up a little bit. Um, I don't buy a lot of Auto World just because they're all retread castings and I've got all of them. <coughs> um, if they would bring something new out, then I would get it. Now, I will buy the Cadillacs. I'll buy all the Cadillacs. And I will buy all of the Roadrunners. But I'm hoping... I, I saw that they are bringing out the, uh, the Eldorado. They're going to come back out with the Eldorado. I hope that they leave the DeVille and the 73 Roadrunner, leave them alone. Don't bring them out again because those have a good value attached to them. And if they bring them out again, it's only gonna devalue them. So um, I wanted to show this. Don't forget when you buy your Auto World to open up your box and put your plastic liner inside of it. That way, when you're ready to store your car, it's stored properly and it won't move around in the box. But anyways, here's the car. I have this casting, the first two releases, which is like a, it's like a plum purple color. It's not the plum crazy, but uh, it's a really cool little color. And then the second one was that Mopar, like a lime green. Um, and this, this casting has come out numerous times since then, and I haven't picked any of them up except for the, uh, the, licensed premium raw that I found um, obviously I'll pick up any raw but I, I did sell that one it was limited to 10 I sold it before I left the Walmart um, my phone has never blown up like it blew up that night I mean everybody wanted that car and uh, I sold it before I left the store I think I got like 160 for it but uh, I would like a regular release or even an ultra red of one of the licensed premium Dodge Dart Swingers just because that vinyl top, none of the premium releases have the vinyl top, at least I don't think. But I really dig this color and that's why I picked this one up. I've already got the casting, but if it wasn't for this color, I would have left it. But this is just awesome because they, they had all those. The only car that was gone was the Impala, um, but I just don't. I've got all those other castings, and uh, none of the other colors really did it for me. So, anyways, a really cool, amazing detail Auto World Dodge Dart Swinger. So, we'll start with that. Now, 
I've only got four more cars. I, I only found five today. But um, I'll start with this. It's a Series 22 Green Light Hot Pursuit. And it is a doozy. It is a really nice... Santa Monica Police Department right there on the coast and uh, they are ready for the waves they're ready for lifeguard duty um, I really dig these brake lights on this they changed up the color of the paint at least I'm pretty sure they did I don't recall that color on brake lights of other of other green light castings I, I I would have to look but I think that the others are more of a true red color so that metallic burgundy really gives it a good look you know the best thing to do is a lensed insert but if you're not going to do that at least try to get the paint to match up so really nice looking silverado i dig it i dig it a lot and honestly i've got a, i've got plenty of these silverados the only reason i picked this one up is because of that utility rack with the surfboard if it wasn't for that, I would I would have left it on the pegs. But uh, that is new. I think this is the first time we've seen it. And so I wanted to have it. <coughs> All right. So the next one that I picked up from Hollywood Series 16, when I saw the samples uh, four or five months ago or whenever it was, I got to say I, I, I wasn't really impressed with this new Hollywood lineup. Um, and I was really not going to get, I, I wasn't sure I was going to get any of them. I ended up grabbing three of them today, though. Uh, this is one that I was going to leave. But when I saw the color, the color sold me on it. The satin black. But, I mean, this is MacGyver's Jeep. You ha I mean, you got to have it. It's freaking MacGyver's Jeep. I wish they would have given it a dirty look. Because, you know, MacGyver... MacGyver's Jeep was dirty. It wasn't clean. So, But other than that, they did an awesome job. I, I dig it. I like it a lot. Also, I'm not sure, but I think these wheels might not be accurate to the Jeep that he had. But I don't know that for sure. I would have to double check on that. I, I thought these, these wheels looked more like uh, early 90s wheels. But I could be wrong. I've been wrong plenty of times before. But anyways, I like the Jeep. It's really cool looking Jeep. It rolls really nice. All that good stuff. Uh, another one that I found. I really love this one. And I have this casting. I have quite a few of these. But this livery is so cool. Uh, you know what it is? It's the flat black. If this was a gloss black, I probably would have left it. But there's something about that satin finish. This is another one that I wish they would have dirtied up. You know, the Andy Griffith show, back then, there was a lot of unpaved roads. And there, you know, this would have been a dusty car. But, man, what a great looking police car. And this thing would look so good having the General Lee pulled over. And I may have to make that happen in the 1 to 64 scale. What I really dig is these wheels. Look at those steelies with the chrome hubcaps. Killer. Back end looks really good too. So, you know, I know I've been cramming this detailed JDM down your guys' collective throats for a while. But I still love my green light. That's what that's where this all started for me. This last one, amazing. I I love it. I wish they would have done it based off of the show and not the movie. However, I love the casting. I love the livery. And I love the accessories on this thing. The utility rack with the light bar and the surfboard. And the buoy or the little uh, lifeguard buoys or whatever they are, the floats, 
that is just sick. And check out these wheels on this thing. Those wheels are reminiscent of Tomica Limited Vintage. Prototypical. The wiper blades look great. I mean, this truck is very, very well done. Probably the nicest in the set. And I'm getting a little burnt out on these green light pickups because I've got a ton of them and they don't store. It's impossible to store these things. And it's damn near impossible to display them because of their size. They won't fit in a carny case unless you get the one without the dividers. Um, they don't fit in jammers. They don't fit in really anything. They're really hard to store and they're really hard to display. So I'm kind of trying to lay off these trucks. You know, obviously I'm going to buy, there are a lot of them that I'm going to buy, but I, there, there was a time where I would buy everything that I didn't have. And uh, with these big pickups now, uh, it's only going to be the limited or the, uh, the few that really catch my eye, of which this is definitely one. I think uh, this, along with the uh, the Silverado from the Racing Hitch and Tow series with the safety truck, I think are my two favorite full-size trucks from Greenlight, as well as that new Power Wagon. That new Power Wagon is sick. Sick nasty. So, uh, anyways that is where we are at not much of a video tonight but hopefully you guys enjoy the break from all of this stuff that i've been addicted to like a bad drug just look at those cars though that is just that's gorgeous japanese domestic market Oh, look, there's more. Wow. Oh, those are beautiful. And I have a whole bunch of stuff that I got to put away. Check out that Porsche. Check out MacGyver's Jeep. Off the beaten path. Check out that dome car. Whoa, what? You say the door opens? No way. Check that out. That is so rad. Check out that Jeep. Check out that iPad stand that I made with Gorilla Wood Glue and Paint Stir Sticks. The same thing I made my display racks out of because they're free. Oh, got to prop it up. Got to prop it up to get the right angle. Check out those police vehicles. Green light on point. And you know what else? With these four vehicles that I cracked open here tonight, the only quality control issue that I saw is this rear tire on the MacGyver Jeep. And that's such a minor issue, I couldn't possibly care less. That's the easiest thing on the planet to fix. So good job, Greenlight. You guys have been having some QC issues. But these four vehicles came out on point. They all roll really nice. There's no major paint flaws or anything like that. And... Uh, it's been a while since I've bought a group of four of them that I could say that about. So, nice job. Oh, by the way, check out that BMW. Check out these deco trucks. Those are interesting. But that... That car is a winner. I should utilize this diorama more often for the photos. 
try to get try to take advantage of some better angles. Look at that. AMX Javelin. Oh, that thing is rad too. What's wrong with it, Al? What's wrong with your truck, Al? Maybe you should call Tim the Toolman Taylor to come help you fix it. Ooh, except he's busy riding on his racing lawnmower. And I don't know where the hell he's at, honestly. So, Al, you're on your own, buddy. Better roll your sleeves up and get ready to get dirty, because that thing's a hunk of crap. Probably have to do an engine swap. Put a proper Mopar engine in it. I'm such a nerd for diecast. I saw my aunt at the hospital today. I haven't seen her in 15 years. And I was wearing one of my Hot Wheels shirts. And she's like, oh, I love your shirt. And I was like, yeah. Would you love my Hot Wheels? And she's like, huh? I'm like, I'm an avid collector. I have a few thousand of them. And I'm, I love it. I'm passionate about it. But hardly anybody understands it. And she's like, oh, I think it's great. I love collecting stuff. So, that was kind of cool. Uh, but I am a die-cast nerd. You know, for a long time I was kind of like, uh, I was kind of reserve about it. I didn't tell a lot of people. Um, didn't really post anything on Facebook other than in the groups. But now, it's like, I don't care. My boss at work, my desk is covered in die-cast. I don't even care. I love it. I don't even care. Yeah, I'm a nerd. I know it. But anyways, guys, I still... Uh... Okay, so last Wednesday, I bought a car from Japan Booster. Two cars. They shipped them out. The day A day later, I bought another car from Japan Booster. They shipped it out. The one that they shipped out last showed up today, but no one was here to sign for it. You have to have... There has to physically be somebody to accept those deliveries. So it went back to the post office. The one that shipped first has been stuck in Phoenix. I live in Tempe. And uh, it hasn't made it from the transfer center or the main hub. It's been sitting there for four days now. And uh, I'm like, my wife went down there today. I was at the hospital. So on her way to the hospital, she popped in there and she's like, I need to grab the one from today and I need to find out why that other one is sitting over in Phoenix for four days. And they're like, well, it's an international shipment. It takes longer. And it's like, no, it's been in Phoenix all week. It's Thursday. It's been there since Monday. It has nothing to do with the fact that it came from overseas. That's our postal worker for us. So any of you viewers that work for the post office... I apologize. I'm not trying to offend you. A really, really good friend of mine actually works for the uh, post office in Boulder, Colorado. And I have a lot of respect for what you guys do. And the vast majority of you guys are very good at what you do. But, man, there are a few, just like any other walk of life, that really leave you scratching your head. So, anyways, I will be getting um, the... I'll be getting the one tomorrow for sure. And then, I don't know, I guess I'm just at the mercy of when they realize they have a box that's been sitting there for a week. You know, I'd like to be able to call them and have them go grab it so they can put it on a truck and send it over here to Tempe or just tell me, you know, where it's at and I'll go pick it up. But they don't have a way of contacting them for that kind of thing other than going in and standing in line. Which I don't really want to do. But anyways, uh, guys, that's my video. Uh, if you're still watching, which I doubt you are. I would have turned it off a long time ago. But if you are still watching, thank you. Uh, Bobman, huge shout out. Huge thank you for these kajillions. Also, for the awesome die cast. It's going to display great. And... Uh, 
all of my other subscribers. Thank you, everybody. I really appreciate all your support. I will continue to try to bring you this content, whether it's Greenlight or domestic stuff or Konami or Tomica or Kyosho import stuff. I will do my best to keep it going. And if you have anything to say, comment below. If not, take care. I will holler at the next video.